We're getting a nice storm. It's cold outside. I'm gonna get some pork ribs into <clears throat> the oven and we're gonna do them that way. You know, once in a while I'll cook, if I don't have a ton of them, some in my slow cooker crock pot on slow until they're ready to fall apart and then I'll take them out, cool them off, sauce them up and put them on the outside grill, that kind of thing. But today I'm going to make a little bit of a dry rub first and then saute some onion and garlic. Use this large pan, um, a little olive oil maybe on the bottom. Oven is at 300. I'm going to put, after I dry rub them, meat side down for, you know, a couple hours. And then I will drain off the juice and this is what I like to use just as a go-to kind of um, dry rub. I just use some, some brown sugar. I'm going to use not the dark this time. And a little chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, that kind of thing. But when I make the sauce, then I use ketchup. And this is funny because I don't use my, quote, good ketchup. I use the off-brand for the, the barbecue sauce. I've used regular you know, baby, sweet baby rays or Berman's original, that kind of thing. Um, a little water, a little vinegar, like kind of equal parts of those three things. Then again, brown sugar, chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder. And I mix that in with those guys. So um, next up, how to get, I already cut them, but I wanted to show you how to get the silver skin off of the back of these ribs. That part's important. And yes, I cut them up ahead of time. It's easier than cutting them after they're cooked. Hi guys, okay. In preparing the ribs, one of the things that you really should do is this stuff on the back. I just call it silver skin. I don't know what it's really called, but um, you should take it off. What I did was I cut a little bit on this side. See, I just got underneath of it eh, the best I could. And then you're gonna take a wet paper towel to, to grab it. See how that is? or a wet cloth, whatever. And then hold this down and try and just keep ripping it. See if it'll come off for you. Ooh, baby, look at that. Okay, cause that, that's just tough and you don't want that on there. You don't want to be eating that, okay. Ugh. All right, and you have to make that noise when you're taking it off, just kidding. Okay, now I'm gonna cut them all and we'll go from there. Alrighty, <clears throat> these are Bone side up, skin side down. Tiny bit of olive oil on the bottom. Oven's at 300 again. I'm gonna use my heavy duty foil. I keep this, this is a big pan. This is a whole rack of ribs. So I'm gonna use this, cover it pretty tightly. And get it in the oven, like I said. It's gonna take about two, two and a half hours to get to the first side. Finished. Okay. And then basically you're cooking them the whole way through. Okay, so get that in the oven. We'll go from there. Yay, and there's the towel I used to get the silver skin off. That's going into the, to the wash. I'm using a pot because ultimately this is going to be sauce and it's gonna cook for a while. Some saute and some onion and some garlic, fresh garlic. I just put the garlic in because now the onions are getting nice and brown. The barbecue sauce is in the back burner on kind of a medium, like a low medium, and it's simmering. See that big onion in there? I don't really care, so what? So it's gonna cook down. It's a little bit loosey-goosey now, but it'll get thicker as it goes for our ribs. These came out and the pan was too hot for me to pour off all the extra grease, but I'm gonna do that and then sauce them up. Speaking of sauce, look how thick this is now. See how it's gotten so much thicker? There we go. And I turned down my potatoes because I was talking on the phone. <laughs> but I'll turn them back up so that they can brown. Okay, they were in again for a little bit, baked with the sauce on. My only regret is, and I looked downstairs, I did not have an aluminum pan. Trust me, use an aluminum pan. I'm gonna try and turn these at the same time and hold this camera. I'm gonna flip them over for when it's time to broil them. You could put honey on them. Oops, this, come on, I can't do this with one hand. 
<laughs> but it was bone side up, but now it's going to be, I'll get them. Oh, ugh, turned in next to each other like that. Um, and then I'm going to put a little bit more sauce on. You could put honey if you like them really sticky, which I like this sauce real sticky. And they are tender, tender, tender. And a couple minutes in the broiler and they'll be ready to go with our dinner.